Hello, I'm Simon Carney and my guest today is Kairul Shahar, the Head of Advertising and Promotions for Malaysia Airlines. Kairul Shahar, thank you for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. You just launched a Facebook travel competition in association with Yahoo. How's that performing in comparison to traditional media campaigns? The competition was called, is called I Must Travel. Um, basically, it's the objective of the competition is actually to drive content onto our travel portal called musttravel.com. Um, so social media is a key driver for us because of the relevance, social media marketing as a whole, because of the relevance to the objective. Um, basically what we want to do is we want to get as much of our users out there um, to contribute their travel stories, to inspire the other, other, other travelers or other users wanting to travel. What sort of response are you getting? Um, well, we've, we've launched that campaign for now for about four weeks now. Um, so far, I think we've got over 250 entries, which I'm quite pleased with um, because, again, we were looking for content. So the, the entries, uh, the requirements are you need to submit a three-minute video as well as your travel story. So that is the, the, the entry mechanics, um, which, yeah, now, last I saw, we got about 250, slightly over than that. I think we still have about two weeks or a week and a half left. That's a good ROI for you? There's, there's multiple objectives. One is to drive more content, um, user-generated content onto our site, but at the same time also trying to um, create the awareness that the site is UGC capable. So just to get people used to going into our site, getting, in, getting them to share their, 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 their stories as well, to upload their stories on it. So yeah, in terms of RRI, I would say, I would say definitely I'm, I'm quite keen, I'm quite pleased with it because what it's done is also increased our traffic as well not just the content, the traffic coming in during this, during this con contest period has also increased quite, quite strong. You work in many markets in Southeast Asia. Are there regional differences in digital? To be, to be very honest, I think because travel, okay, because online in the, within the travel industry is actually already quite matured. So if you talk about the response, um, I would say it's actually quite similar across all of all of our markets, or the markets at least, the ones that you mentioned, like Malaysia, across Singapore, Indonesia, Australia. Response is about, is about the same, because people are, the consumers are now a lot more savvy and they're more, they're more responsive towards online or digital marketing as a whole. If we talk about dollar to dollar conversions, the, the return on investment, obviously, yes, there's, there's differences, but I would say that's mainly due to our own business strategies because that's a, a, a attributed to the value of the ticket um, as well as the capacity that we have in the market. So that, that all affects the return on investment. But in terms of the, if we're to talk about um, the traffic coming into the site, the clicks, the post-impression traffic coming in, um, so on and so forth, those I would say is relatively quite similar. But do you get the metrics you need? Short answer, yes. Yep. Um, we, track, we track right down to conversions and we track how, what is the effect, effectiveness level of the, of the campaign. Um, obviously, we have our, our, all the various tracking tools available. Um, we work closely with MediaMind and on, on our side, we have our, we have the, we're working with Adobe and we have our site catalyst. Uh, we have the site catalyst tags. Um, we also bake in search, so that also gives us the overall um, analytics in terms of the effectiveness or the conversion coming in from our campaigns. Is there a mobile strategy built into this? Mobile is, um, it's, it's, it's always integrated within um, our offering, so whenever we, we push out a campaign, we will make the product available across all of our distribution channels. Then we, we will then strategize, but obviously we will have 
um, our priorities um, based on what product is going to be out is going to be on offer. Certain product works well with certain distribution channel. So from there, we would then shape the channel strategy in terms of okay, how do we push it out? Yeah. How much do we do mobile? How much do we do social media or it on online in general? But yes. Um, online uh, mobile definitely has a place in it. What's the role of editorial in digital marketing? I think editorial is very crucial, especially more so these days. Um, it's it's getting the right message out. I mean, content is content is where, like like I said, in 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 our case especially, um, it's a lot about inspiring the consumers to travel first um, and you need a lot of you know editorial content um, to do that and straight up advertising like pushing out an offer on a on a banner or um, just buying search keywords simply will not cut it now you need you need to make you need to be, we, we basically use content editorial to bring them closer to the brand Therefore, increasing our search, uh, the, the searches for Malaysia Airlines in general. So, yeah, it, it plays a very important role in, in the overall marketing mix, so basically. Kairul Shahar, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Pleasure.